it's not clickbait. I do believe that loss of scaling is better than FSR or DLSS, depending on the hardware. That's the key thing. Also, the titles play a huge, huge, huge factor in this. But I do think if, if you are in mid to low end hardware and you're not even playing around with loss of scaling, I think you're definitely leaving some frames on the table for sure. I just want to show you why I think it is a key thing to have uh, for any gamer uh, in that mid to low end hardware. If you're in the high end hardware real quick, it doesn't play in as much because if you're gaming in 4k it doesn't work very well in 4k uh from my experience uh, if you're doing a dual gpu system um that second graphics card needs to be pretty powerful so uh, you're kind of at a point where in my opinion doesn't really work for example on my main rig the 6400 does not do 4k gaming and it doesn't do very high refresh rate 1440p gaming does not have the power to do it with loss of scaling where loss of scaling is better is in that mid to low end hardware and if you can do a dual gpu setup meaning you have one graphics card doing the rendering and another one using loss of scaling you can really up your performance in your system very well and you don't even need to buy a new gpu if you have an iGPU that is a, a G variant, I would say for sure, if it's a 5000 series G variant, you should be good. Maybe even 3000 uh, G variant, if it's only 1080p, 1440p, depending on the title, uh, it should be good enough. But definitely a 5000 series, like a 5600G, 5700G, 5800G, you should definitely be good for iGPU. And that's kind of what we're doing today. We're going to be using the bespoke PC rocking a 5700U and a 6600 XT for this exercise. I would consider this like mid-low range. Um, it's not necessarily a mid-range system. I, if you ask me, mid-range is like 6700 or 7700, something like that. Uh, the CPU is kind of not there either because it is a G variant and a laptop variant to boot. So it's not as pow powerful as a desktop. This is, I think, a good example of where loss of scaling really comes in hand. We're in Doom Dark Ages 1440p. We no have no upscaling. We are on the low preset because this game is a beast. Um, we have the upscaler on, but we're on native AA, and we're here in the starting area, and we're not even getting 30 frames. It is a pretty piss poor experience. Our GPU is maxed out. Our CPU is actually kind of idle, and it's definitely unplayable. So let's turn on FSR, and let's try to make this thing playable. There is frame generation in this game, but we're not going to turn it on for this purpose of the video. We're at native AA. Um, quality is not going to do anything, so we'll go straight to battle inch, and we're getting... 49 frames 49 50 um and a lot better than than 25 so now let's go ahead and let's go back and what we'll do is we'll go to ultra performance because we our goal is to get 60 frames so 1440p uh, ultra performance we're not getting 60 frames not getting 60 frames We'll use these flames here for reference. So we're at 1440p ultra. I mean, we're at 1440p performance, and this looks terrible. This is very pixelated, looks bad. So what you could do when you're in a situation like this is you could just drop the resolutions. So we'll drop down to 1080p because our goal is going to be 60 frames, and that looks way worse. Um, but we're getting 60 frames. We're getting 70 frames now. All right, but this picture quality looks horrendous. It looks horrendous, um, very blocky, pixelated, but we got our 60 frames or close to it. Um, that's the goal, right? Okay, so now this is what we're kind of dealing <laughs> So this is what we get with FSR. And here's my argument um, why loss of scaling is better. So I'm going to go back to settings. We're actually going to go down to window mode, and we're going to turn this to native AA, and we're going to drop down to 900p. So we're almost at 60 frames here in this little spot and here's the beautiful thing about loss of scaling we're using the, our fsr 
we are going to use our iGPU because this is a heavy GPU game and having a dual GPU system is the way to go with lossless scaling if you ask me, especially if you're on this mid to low end hardware. I'm going to scale that and no, it is not the 60, 70 frames that we were getting with just FSR set to performance, but arguably this is a better picture. And here's the beautiful thing. This is another re reason why I think lossless scaling is, is such a good software in general is now that we're getting close to 60, what we can do is we can actually turn on some FSR now, and we're just gonna, from native, we're just gonna do quality. We're gonna do quality FSR. We're getting 68 frames now, and then now we're gonna upscale. And now we're getting at 60 frames. This is a better looking image than it was uh, at 900p stretched. Um, it just looks better, it just looks better. The flames look better, everything looks better like this. This is why lossless scaling is so, so good. If, especially when you work them together. Now I'm gonna show you lossless scaling with our main GPU, and it's not a great experience for a game like this. And I just wanna show you that because I wanna drive home uh, uh, dual GPU systems. I've been talking about that a lot in this channel. And it's because it works well for this mid to low end range hardware. So we're gonna click on our 6600 XT, which is gonna do the upscaling. And remember, we're getting above 60 frames. You can see that our frame rate tanks. You know, image quality still looks good, but our frame rate tanks because now the 6600 XT is doing both the frame generation or the upscaling and rast doing the rasterizing uh, the frames or generating the frames rasterization I think that's how it's called and that's why dual GPU systems work so well so let's go ahead and switch it back and yeah that's a great experience if you ask me it's so much better being able to upscale from a 900p to a 1440p um, display versus you know getting a 900p and just stretching it out across the screen it's just a better looking game all the way around like so there's really no contest. If I had to choose one or the other, I would just I would just drop drop down the settings and just not even use FSR. If I didn't have FSR and I only had loss of scaling, that's exactly what I would do. I would play it like this. Yes, it's not higher frames per se, but it looks better. Like overall it just looks better. And uh, you know, and the good thing about this game is Guess what? There's frame generation on this game too. So we can actually kick it up a notch. And now with frame generation, we're getting 90 frames. Yeah, you're, I could use loss of scaling frame generation, but I would not recommend that because this game has a crosshair. If it's not a native frame generation and the game has a crosshair, don't use lossless because it's just going to tear all over the place. And I'll show you real quick what that means. I'll just turn it on. We're just going to turn it on. So if we use frame generation or lossless, and also, by the way, you can change it to adapt it, but meaning you can do a constant 60, but we're just going to double it, double frame generation, which is never a good thing. But I just want to show you the crosshair issue with lossless. You see that right there in the crosshairs? Hopefully the camera picks that up, but there's a distortion around the crosshairs. You'll see it. It's like a ghosting effect. And that's just the frames kicking in and out. Um, so we're getting 121 frames, so 120. It feels smooth, but yeah, man, that just... It feels smooth, but it's jittery because it's double frame generation, or technically. So, yeah, that's basically the reason why I think loss of scaling is better than FSR in a lot of ways. Obviously, it's best to use them together. I think when you use them together and you use it in a dual GPU configuration, meaning you're not using your um, main GPU to do both the rasterization and the upscaling, you're using just your IGP or secondary GPU to do that but just upscaling a 900p to 1440p versus stretching a 900p to 1440p is just a better looking game better looking game